So I've noticed something that's been happening here in Australia that is very reminiscent of and echoes something which happened in America uh, a good 10 years ago. 10 years ago in America, George Bush was the president and George Bush made a lot of decisions about a lot of things which pissed a lot of people off. And he didn't really listen to what the people wanted, to the community which he governed, but it was more so about his own agendas and all these counter-terrorism efforts. And I look now to Tony Abbott, our current Prime Minister, unfortunately, and I look at how he's going about his affairs with just setting all kinds of new regulations and, and cuts and new forms of tax and you know all these new counter-terrorism efforts which is now emerging very strongly in, in full swing swift changes and swift uh what is it changes that that pretty much the people will have to accept um to their freedoms you know limitations on our freedoms so to provide more protection for, for others. That's the angle that they're really pushing now, is that we're gonna have to sacrifice some freedom in order for protection. Very reminiscent of what happened 10 years ago in America, you know, and now we're sending in troops to fight in you know, Iraq and Syria and, and all of this. And I'm not gonna talk about whether that's just or not, but I think there is an agenda here and I think the amount of things that Tony Abbott's doing without even listening to people, going against people, going back on his word, on his promises, and go running full swing in the totally opposite direction to where he was supposed to go based on his original uh, speech and promises that he made, his pledge to what he'd do for the community. I think that pretty much Tony Abbott is playing the exact same role that George Bush played for America 10 years ago in that he is the fall guy. The fall guy is here to, to come into term with all this power to make a lot of swift change that works for the greater agenda. A lot of change very quickly. And it's gonna piss a lot of people off and cause a lot of heat. And he's not gonna be the most popular man, at least not in a good way. But that's okay. Because that's all part of the plan. And he's the fall guy. He will be hated and he will be remembered as the guy that fucked us. But we will be fucked forevermore, nonetheless. And yeah, I just wanted to share that observation that I, I really think there is no limit to how much this man may would defy man, you know, everyone else, all his fellow men. There is no limit to to what he can do regardless of how fucked because he's I don't know for whatever reason it seems that now it's crunch time in terms of crunching a lot of numbers crunching a lot of outcomes crunching a lot of change and he's probably going to be spat out a lot more worse for wear as a result but I'm sure with all the protection he has and all the money he has and all the stuff that matters to him that he has. It doesn't really matter what we think. I think the pat on the back he'll receive from those above him for playing his role in the greater scheme will be enough. And I think we should just be wary about this man just as much as everybody should have been wary about George Bush. And hopefully, eventually, both can be done for all the crimes that they have committed, are committing, and are helping to perpetuate. If we ever come around and take the power in our own hands and hold those accountable for their crimes. Yeah.